Howdy folks, TJ here. Hopefully you're having a great uh, day. I thought it'd be kind of fun. See that picture behind me? That's the newest little uh, PDF that uh, Tenkara USA has put out. If you don't know who I am, I'm TJ Ferreira. I'm the director of customer service at Tenkara USA, the original and first company that uh, really popularized and introduced Tenkara to the United States over 11 years ago. And I've been involved with them very early on as a customer and then all of a sudden I became an employee. How about that? <laughs> Doing what you love to do. And uh, this is a really new graphic that tells you how to choose a Tenkara rod. So what I thought I'd do today is just kind of make a fun little video and follow the PDF that says what the heck are you doing? Uh, what rod do you choose? And guess what I've got behind me? Every single one of the rods that are on that page. So we're going to talk about them. And I think what I'll try to do is I'll try to do a little bit of editing so I can kind of scooch in on the uh, the photo. And uh, that way you can follow along at the same time. And also I'll put a link to where you can grab this uh, pretty picture here. But let's... Uh, that's a lot of rods. <laughs> so let's start out... Uh, how to choose a Tenkara rod. So obviously I work for Tenkara USA, so what we're gonna be covering is our brand of rods, which I feel are the best rods out there, obviously. I, I love Tenkara USA and what we've done to introduce Tenkara to the world. And uh, it's a lot of fun working there. And uh, so let's chat about it a little bit. So tip, get the longest rod you can. That's always the normal rule. So if uh, you got open space around you, the better. That means the longest rod is going to give you the most capability and keep that line off the water. Longer rod, nice rod length of line plus tippet means that you can keep the line off the water. You're not spooking fish, which is a great thing. More reach, all sorts of great factors, but get the longest rod you can for your particular area that you're going to be fishing. That's rule number one. So, do you want to continue? So we kind of followed down this little graphic no, you don't want to continue. <laughs> All right. So it says here, just get the Iwana or Sato. So let's talk about the Iwana or Sato. Iwana. So all of our rods come in a very pretty, durable, hard case. And on one side, screw cap. And to kind of give it that little extra touch, even has the name of the rod on the outer case. So if you're like me, hopefully you're picking that up. If you're like me and you've got a whole bunch of Tenkata rods, knowing which rod to quickly grab and throw in your, your arsenal for the day is a really cool feature to have. Uh, I tend to uh, take a couple of rods with me uh, just for the fun of it. You know, choosing and using each rod, kind of fun for me. But technically, you know, you can go out with one. If you've got two, cool. So what else? Rods come in this wonderful stretchy sock. So if you're a backpacker and just a gram counter or don't want the extra case and feel that you can protect the rod, just throw the rod inside your backpack. Throw it in the back of your car or whatever. But if you're like me and you start throwing stuff in the back of your, your vehicle in case I've got a Toyota FJ, having the hard case is nice because I throw some heavy stuff back there. So protect it. Yeah, sock. And by the way, this sock makes an awesome bandana. You can just tie it around your head, <laughs> dip it in water. Yeah, I start getting sweaty out there when I'm fishing. So the Iwana. Iwana is pretty much the rod, in my opinion, that started the market. Everybody and their mother and brother and sister, grandpa, had an Iwana, it seems like. And to this day, wonderful rod to have. I love the Iwana. It's a great all-around 12-footer. Average rod, probably with Tenkata rod, is 12 feet. That's what the Iwana is, a 12-footer. All the rods are fairly compact, so if you're not familiar with Tenkara, they're all telescopic, and you pull this little plug at the top, and you connect your line to this little thing called a Lillian, and then you start extending your rod slowly like an antenna of an old car. Very easy to do, all very compact. The Iwana is a little over 20 inches uh, closed, so very compact, only weighs about 2.7 ounces, Peanuts. You can flick and cast this rod all day long. So, general all-around great 12-footer, the Iwana rod. Really nice, easy to use, perfect. What's the other one? Well, the Sato. 
Where do I have this auto? Uh, Amago. I've got all sorts of rods here. Well, if I'm smart, I'll just use the end here. Of course, I'm kind of blind, so I, I have a hard time seeing stuff. So let's see what the, that's an Edo. <laughs> uh, there's a Sato. <laughs> You'll qu quickly see that I'm kind of a jolly guy. I like, uh, you know, you live once. You might as well try to be happy and smile and laugh through life as much as you can. So, Sato. But I'm going blind, so I can't see Tiddly Squat. So I've got to squint. And I've, e even these glasses are those bifocal things, but I still can't see. Sato. My favorite. And it is our best-selling rod. Jack of all trades. If you want to spend a little bit more, Tenkata rods are not that expensive. Our range in price goes anywhere from today, 160 up to 260 That's not a big difference. So the Sato is a bit more premium rod for us. And what's unique about it is it's adjustable. You can fish it in more just one length. So that you want to that's a 12-footer. You fish it as a 12-footer. You can chalk up on the handle and such, but if you want to have the rod open to only a certain degree, the Sato is awesome. A little lighter than the Iwana, believe it or not. 2.6 ounces. I'm going off of memory on all this, by the way. I'll have to go check myself, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Sato. Lovely rod. Lightweight. Adjustable. By the way, this is a universal rod cap. Our rods come with little plugs. That plug in the top. And when you're not using it so you don't lose it, you can stick it in something Daniel at Tenkata USA created. This little hole back here, you can stick your plug. Keep your plug system. Very cool. I like the universal rod cap, though, because I walk through a lot of tight brush all day long. Close the rod. Takes off all of 30 seconds. You can keep the line connected and you stick this universal rod cap over the top and it cinches down really quickly, protects your tip so it doesn't come out and you get stuck in something, break the rod, you don't want to do that, so protect it. Universal rod cap. So this is one of my go-to rods. The Sato is where I take every place. The one rod that does all. So wonderful rod and it's adjustable as I noted before. I'm not I've only got a 17 by 17 room in here and this rod opens up to almost 13 feet. So I don't want to open it up and start knocking stuff over, but this is a zoom rod. So we've got a special handle here that's got a couple of zoom points that you can open or close and use the rod in that smaller length. So with the Sato you can actually there's two zoom segments here. You can open or keep closed, so the rod can be fished in three lengths, roughly 10 and a half, 11 and a half, and 12 and a half feet. Perfect. So this is the go-to rod, jack of all trades. So if you selected no, and Iwana or Sato, if you've got a little extra money, Sato's only 250 bucks as of right now. Bargain, steel, awesome rod. Should I put these back in the cases? Yeah, I may talk about it later and have to fumble for it and find it, but that's all right. We've got time, right? You're watching this video and you kind of want to learn along with me. We'll do. We'll see if I can do this all in one take. I normally don't uh, script any of my videos or anything. So follow along with me. Bloopers and all. So cool. Um, I think we're done with the Iwana too. So bear with me as I stick this in. Again, rod socks come with all of our rods and the hard case. A lifetime warranty, which in my opinion is second to none. If something happens and you fall and trip, yeah, I do that every so often. You break something, not a big deal. Call us. We just pretty much charge shipping and handling and mail you the part. You can put it in yourself and service your own rod. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit, if I remember. Ah! Okay, so you selected no. Just get the Iwana or Sato. The Iwana has become our classic all-around rod at a great value. It is. The progressive taper, ultra lightweight, and tip action provides for great battles even when hooking smaller fish. By the way, Jeremy, our, our artist de jour, made this wonderful graphic. So if you're looking at the close-up of it, there's all sorts of little fun fishing things that you can kind of follow along with. Here's a little guy on a rock fishing with his Tenkata rod. So, cool. So, that's no. We already talked about the Sato, Iwana. So let's follow yes instead. So we'll follow down over here. Click yes. Oh, the screen went out. See, there's a blooper. Can we wake it up? Sure can. Ha! 
fishing anywhere or hiking further to fish. Cool. So let's select hiking further to fish. All right. So it says buy the honey. And over here, it's got a little picture of our cute little honey. It's only 15 inches. Really small. We'll open it up in a second. The honey is our most compact rod. It is a great rod to tag along on adventure of your choice. So the one is an easy one for me to buy because it's a small one. This thing's only 15 inch. The case is about 16 inches. And again, nice, probably not picking this up, but I'll do my best. Nice little screw cap says the name of the rod, which is cool. This one's got a little gray sock. And look at how pretty this rod is. It's a nice little fun adventure rod. It's the first rod that we made with a rubber or foam type of handle, which is really comfortable in the hand. I like cork too. Cork and rubber work great, but it's our first one that we did with the rubber. Nice white finish. This thing's only 15 inches. You can stick it in your back pocket. In fact, at trade shows, I stick a rod in my back pocket and walk around the trade show and people look at me. But it's a fly rod ready to start fishing. So since I've got this one out, Here's that screw cap that I was talking about. Every Tenkata rod has one. You unscrew it, holding the rod parallel, because everything's going to slide out if you don't. So you undo the screw cap, and every single segment comes out the back, which means that you can replace them, maintain them, take them out, run water over and through them, dry them off, store your rod dry and clean. If you just throw it in the back of your hot vehicle and it's all wet and gooey in there and it's been a year since you fished, yeah, you're going to affect and possibly blemish the rod. So keep your rod clean. Every so often, take the segments out, clean them. It's very simple. You want to get used to taking segments out the back and not be afraid of doing it. Very easy to do. So that's the Hane. Nice little drumstick. Really small, compact. It's an adventure rod. This rod's kind of cool. It's a little stiffer. It's a stiffer rod that we sell. What does that help with? Well, some people may say it's got a little bit more backbone for all sorts of different fish. So if you're fishing bass one week, then trout the next week, and crappie, and then bluegill, and sunfish, and whatever, this is kind of an adventure rod. Throw it in your glove box. Throw it in your backpack. Throw it in the back of your car, your briefcase. This little rod is a fun one to take. So, honey. Very popular, very fun to use. Cool. So, that was hiking further to fish. Although you can use technically any of them to do that, they're all very lightweight. This one's just kind of cool because it's really compact. So, fish anywhere. That's this one. We're going to go down. It says, what size fish do you primarily target? All right. So, on over here, there's a graphic that's 5 to 18 inches. All right, let's cover that one first. What type of water do you fish? So, we're following the chart. Kind of like those old little things you used to... I don't know if you did it as kids, but you, in a book, you write, go to page 10. And you go to page 10, and you write something, go to page 30. You kind of go on a little trip. That's what this thing is. Very cool. So what... i gotta, I got to check what time it is. Uh, I'm expecting somebody here shortly. That's all right. This is video is important. So, cool. Small fish. What type of fish water do you fish? Small streams with tight cover. All right, cool. We recommend the Roto. So let's find the Roto. It's probably this one. No, that's the Imago. This one, maybe? There we go. Roto. So the Roto only weighs a tad over two ounces. I made a video on this one once. Amazing that you can have a ten and a half foot fly rod that's two ounces, 2.1 ounces on the Roto. Again, fun sock. Here's the Roto. So Roto is a very lightweight, little over 20 inches closed, so very compact still. In my opinion, this is the Graham counter, backpacker du jour. You're hitting lots of mountain streams that can be small and then a little bit more open. It opens up to 10 and a half feet, but this rod can be fished as short as 8 foot 10 inches. That's peanuts for Tenkata rod. So again, the zoom rods, like the Roto and Sato, have these little zoom points that you can pull in and pull out depending on whether you want the rod to be fished shorter or longer. Nice premium cork handle. <coughs> nice little green accent points. I don't know if the camera's picking up. 
This one also has the keep your plug system so you can take the plug and stick it in the back. Or like I said, the universal rod caps are inexpensive. So if you want to keep the line connected, uh, get, it, get those. I kind of prefer those over the little plugs, but the plugs work great too. So the Roto, small stream, small creek, wonderful to fish shorter. You can still open it up to 10 and a half feet. Uh, handles trout up to around 18 inches or less. Pretty good dang sized trout. Normally, most of the time when I'm fishing this, I'm going after smaller brookies and smaller trout, smaller panfish. Real lot of fun. Weighs nothing. You can cast this thing all day. So that's the Roto. This is the little brother or little sister to the Sato. So basically, Roto, Sato. That's how I kind of look at them. Also a very popular model. Nice sock and case. With the name on the cap, like all of our current rods have. So that's the Roto. All right. So let's, uh, did I read? Yeah, I read the stuff on the honey. Let's read the stuff on the Roto. So, and like I said, I'm kind of blind, so I got to kind of peek up at the screen here. Despite its beautiful flowers, sometimes anglers find themselves losing file or flies through the overreaching branches of the rhododendron. Roto, rhododendron, get it? Hey, all right. We developed the Roto, a rod that can be fished short when things get tight or longer when the stream opens up. There you go. All right, that's the Roto. So that was small streams with tight cover. Instead, what type of water do you fish? Well, let's go to the middle one. Mid-sized streams with moderate cover. Go with the Sato. We showed the Sato, so I can skip past that, but let's read the information on the screen here. The Sato rod is named after Mr. Ernest Sato, S-A-T-O-W. Our rod, rod is called the Sato, though, S-A-T-O. And an avid mountaineer who was the first person to make a written record of Tenkara. At its shorter length, it is perfect for lighter streams, and in full length, it will be ideal when the stream opens up again or when you find a bigger pool to cast your fly. That's a lot of the streams here in Northern Cal, where I am, where I get the fish. So opening and closing the rod, wonderful feature. Adjustable three lengths for the Sato. So what type of fish do you fish? Four, what size streams? No, what type of water do you fish? I'm still on that part. See, I told you, unscripted. <laughs> Mountain streams, rivers, and waters with little cover. The Sato fishes these waters well too. So cool. And then it's going to point up to some other rods. So mountain streams, rivers, waters with little cover. Again, longer rod. Remember that. The longest rod you can take into the uh, fun there. So it bounces up to buy the Edo or the Imago. Let's cover the Edo first. It is our longest big river rod. Longer case. About 27 inches off the top of my head. This is our biggest, longest rod. If you need the reach or bigger fish, any of that, the Edo is your friend. Ugh. Ah, ha, ha. Blue, beautiful blue sock for the Edo. The Edo, nice long handle. Oh. Nice long handle. Not a two-handed spay rod or anything. This thing is a beast. So, nice thing is it's adjustable. Not three lengths like the Sato and Roto, but two. 13 foot or 14 and a half foot, roughly. I like to fish it all day long in 13 foot. It's very crisp, feels very tight, not tip heavy. I can sit there and cast all day at 13 foot. But if you need a little extra reach and don't want to connect the longer line, this rod's got that zoom point. It adds that much more, roughly a foot and a half. So you can hit those spots a little bit further. It always seems like the spot you want to get to is a little bit further, a little bit further. The Edo lets you do that. Or if you latch onto a bigger fish, you're fishing 13 foot. Oh, it's a bigger than expected fish. That can happen. Open it up as you've got tension on the rod. You can keep the rod tension and pop that segment open while you keep tension on the rod and you can land the bigger fish. More leverage, longer rod. So that's the Edo. Wonderful for pretty much anything you wanna go after. Even fun on the small guys. So it's adjustable, two lengths, 
I like using this on more open, bigger rivers, or if I'm going after bass, uh, something that's out of the norm for me. Most of the fishing that I do is mountain streams, so it's a little bit smaller. Uh, but there's times that I've got nice open pools and such. The Edo is king for me on that. Which leads to the Imago. The last rod to talk about, and I might actually get this in one take. Uh, no major blooper so far. Uh, no, that's a Roto. Imago. Again, nice hard case. Black sock. Again, these socks. Yeah, I tied one around my head at a trade show once. It worked really nice. The Imago, all of our rods kind of have a unique finish that all kind of blends them in to say this is a Tenkata USA rod. So this one's got a nice, nice big feel, a lot of backbone. It's 13 and a half foot, so it's a little shorter, well, a little longer than the Edo in the smaller length, but a little shorter than the Edo fully opened up. So this one's kind of right in the middle. But in my opinion, if you're going after big bass and big trout most of the time, the Imago is great. The Imago is one of our big fish rods. Big fish, we mean generally our rods, we say, hey, 20 inches or less, any of the rods mostly will do. Other than the Roto, it's a little bit more petite rod. But if you're going after something 20, 21, 24, 25 inches, kind of start stepping out of the bounds of what a Tenkata rod is originally designed for. But that doesn't mean they don't catch bigger fish. Just look up, up pictures, Tenkata USA and big fish. You're going to see people landing big fish with this. But generally, if I'm going after trout that are bigger than 20 inches, say 22, 23 inches, the Imago comes out. Longer reach, more leverage. It's got some good backbone. And when you're playing a big fish, you don't want to grab like that, but you can kind of you know, go up on the blank a little bit like this and kind of give it a little bit of extra leverage when you're kind of playing a fish. You don't want to grip it up on a segment like this when you're playing a fish because that's when you could possibly uh, destroy something. So make sure to just uh, kind of give it a little bit of a palm and you can kind of give your, yourself a little bit more control. Keep that arm in. Don't be going like this and like this. You're going to lose control. Keep it in. Do this. Play the fish until you got the upper hand, lean the rod behind you, fish is at your feet, put some slack in it, let the fish go if you don't want to touch it, or net it and take your, your picture or whatever you need to do. So that's the Imago. Did we cover? Oh, I need to read what it says. See, I almost forgot. So, uh, let's see. Named after one of Japan's most beautiful mountain stream trout, the Imago uh, is our longest non-zoom rod at 13 and a half feet long. So that's the info on the Imago. The Edo. The Edo is our longest rod in our lineup. We strived to achieve a very long rod with the lightest possible feel. A true delight to fish any mountain stream. The Edo will be the most at home in wider streams, larger rivers, and ponds. There you go. I think I covered everything. Uh, Tenkata USA, only a rod, line and fly. Keep it simple, folks. Go out and just have a good time fishing. That's what it's all about. Our website, www.tenkarausa.com. And if you want to put forward slash rods, you'll go right to the rods page. But in general, if you want to ch check out all sorts of fun videos and all that, just go to tenkarausa.com. You'll see everything. We've been around a long time. This is our passion, our one and only thing that we do. We don't sell other canopies and all this other stuff. We're Tenkara. And that's what we're all about. So hopefully you enjoyed that little bit. I should have also covered 18 inches and up. There's a little picture over here I forgot to note. Amago or Edo. So I think I covered everything in general. Look at the picture. It's got all sorts of little fun fishermen and pictures and stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. And hopefully I just recorded everything. I probably forgot to push the, <laughs> the record button. Ah. <laughs> so have a great weekend and happy Tenkara to you.